Hello lovely people and welcome. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jessica. I generally make videos about chronic illness, disability and LGBTQ plus issues, often with a vintage historical slant because I love history and also do indeed dress vintage all the time. Now this week we thought we'd do something a bit fun and get my wife, who is absolutely, she's not, she's not of the vintage persuasion. She's going to be picking my outfits for this whole week. Yes, I'm handing over creative control. I'm going to describe Claudia's style as grown-up, skater, girl, chic, I don't know. But I, I, I'm very, very attractive very cool. She's, she's cool. I thought that this would just be a regular week for us. Now I work from home, um, I'm a full-time content creator, I have a home office and also a home studio. It's where we are right now. Home studio, it's, it's actually also our guest room. I also have a toddler who is 21 months old and goes to daycare in the mornings, except he didn't for the week that we were filming. No, because he was ill, which did slightly, did slightly scupper things. This video is not sponsored by any of the clothing brands that you see, but if you do like any of the clothes, I'm gonna put links to some of them in the description down below, the ones that I can find links for, because some of them are a little old. And I'd just like to say thank you to my clubbies for making videos like this possible. The Calvin Bozar Club is a membership club here on YouTube, and joining gets you access to exclusive behind the scenes content, which I release every month, along with being part of the decision making process in future videos and you get things like a, my little face after your name in the comments down below, special emojis and birthday shout outs. And now let's get into Monday. Right, work semi-done. It is now time for driving lessons. Am I ready for this? No, I'm not. Two hours, two hours my driving lessons are. Who can sit in a car for two hours and concentrate? Not me. I do not have that attention span and I do not have that energy level. I don't understand why I can turn into a road very smoothly. Turning into a parking space is somehow a difficulty. Make it make sense. Why is our world built around needing to use a car? I am still on team let's move into the city. Though to me, to be fair, the suburbs is, we could work, walk to the shops, they are. It would take us 30 minutes. That's not really a walk I can do. So now we'll just have to learn to drive or we will have to move. And learning to drive is cheaper, even though it's 70 pounds a lesson and I have to keep canceling them because I have migraines and I'm too tired. from the driving lesson. Did I get a bit hot in the layers? Yes. Yes, I did. Was the hat a little uh, wibbly wobbly? <laughs> I'm not telling. I'm not telling. I tell you nothing. But, very exciting, I did manage to reverse park into a parking bay today. He did say this as if next week we are going to learn to reverse park into a parking bay on the right. I'm unclear as to whether this will be actively harder. Don't know. Um, learning to drive has been a, an experience so far. Uh, I'm not great at it. I did fail my driving test eight times, but that was a decade ago. So really, I should be much better now, right? All that extra decade of sitting in cars, watching people drive. Surely I've absorbed some knowledge. That's how learning to drive works, right? My main issue with a driving lesson is that I seem to have this thing where I can be so perfect, so amazing, so absolutely winning, winning in a situation. And then the minute, the minute something goes wrong, it's just, <clears throat> that's it. Might as well cancel it all because now I'll just fail from here on out. I don't know what that is. It's not even, it's not a conscious choice, clearly, because I'd quite like to do well at things. I don't enjoy failure. 
if we're going fine, then we just go fine and we just keep on going fine and everything's great and everything's brilliant and it continues to be brilliant. What is that? Is it some weird self-sabotage that my brain is doing? Why? I need to learn to drive. Could you stop that? Please. Hello, good morning. It's Tuesday. Um, it uh, is supposed to be a school day for Rupert. Um, supposedly should be doing a school run, so that's the outfit that Claudia should be choosing. However, absolutely not. He has been coughing, spluttering, streaming from the nose. It's a look, obviously. Uh, not, not, not a good look, not a great look. So he's very much staying home today. Plus side is, he slept through the night for two nights in a row because he's so exhausted. <laughs> Would you like to come and talk to the people rather That's than just yelling? Very <laughs> so Claudia's found the most comfortable spot on the bed and she will not be moving. She accidentally lay down on the cushions, the cushions. in the way that is apparently delightful. Oh. Is that nice? It is. I've got this bolster cushion right under my lower back. I just happened to fall on it like this, and I was like, oh, this is so comfy. I think I fell on it like this. Maybe I moved it intentionally here, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know why I've chosen to wear black today. It's obviously my mood. No, I mean, it does not hide snot well. It does not. Ah, it does not. <laughs> Dad jokes. So, the outfit that Claudia will be picking today is, instead, just going to be a Jessica is working from home. But then, I do get changed later on because I'm going out to dinner with some mums from uh, Rupert's nursery. I mean, like, the school, that they have all the kids. I'm a bit nervous because Claudia's been meant to come with me, but now Rupert's ill. So we cancelled our babysitter, also known as Claudia's dad, and she's going to stay home with him. And I'm going by myself. Terrifying. What if I understand no one? What if no one moves their lips when they speak? What if I can't lip read? What if? Wow! That's a really sexy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia would like... <laughs> I just took it now. Just chef with you. Like, just to make not, better. Actually, you look quite severe. I didn't say share it. Okay, you try it out. I'm going to try mine. You're not meant to smile. <laughs> I'm not allowed no, to smile. No, like, you're like in a, you're, you know. Nope. All right, I mean, it's taking too long. No, 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 I'm trying. <laughs> Shh. I don't like it. Where's half my face gone? What's this? Sorry, I've got a little too much energy right now. Well, it's a bit rainy outside. It is, it is. Ooh, that one's quite good. I like that one. That's a good choice. Oh, interesting. She's big on this layering up thing. They're gonna have this look, and I'm not sure what. I'm just working out what's gonna be on the bottom. Oh. Is that good? All right, it's a look, it's a choice. Let's go. I think it's cute. How do you do? I am off. Out. Maybe away. Oh no. goodness, what is happening? <laughs> no. Hi. Oh, the camera's all the way over here. All right. <laughs> probably not. This is probably not the best thing. Uh, no, I'm supposed to be going out right now for dinner and Claudia is picking my attire. It's not like a fancy dinner though. We're going to a pub. Summary. It's not a garden party. Okay. I, wait, no, I'm not supposed to be saying anything. I'm sorry. I, I draw it in. I think this is still quite nice for a pub. This in your hair. Maybe this little cardigan. Oh, no. that's quite cute. I don't know if it would. Just to say, yeah, this, this dress has like humongous sleeves. I know, sleeves. that's what I was thinking. Well, maybe try so, it good luck and just see if it looks. Because these sleeves are also kind of slightly like puffed, maybe a tiny bit. Try it out. And no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could put this underneath. Run, run. Will that look really weird? Try Why don't see. we try it out? Maybe put the shirt only... underneath this dress. I'm naked. Pass to me. Um, <laughs> she just threw that in my face. Yep. 
I don't know why, but I feel like a nun. What? I think it looks cute. <laughs> Paige is nodding. Maybe I'm doing that typical thing where I'm like, you're going out without me? Wear this. <laughs> it's a sack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it looks nice. Definitely some people out there would be would agree. Oh gosh. <laughs> going well. Ta-da! I think it looks good. I mean, the red in the hat's a bit bad. That's a shame, because it's all very colour coordinated otherwise. So, to me, this is just you mocking my dress sense, right? No. Because you so, don't think this looks good, do you? I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, wait, wait, wait. granted, Would the you, hat doesn't really work, but... You want, you want to go to the pub with me right now? Wearing this, yeah? No, I would take the hat off and say... Oh, this is coming too! <laughs> this is coming! Umbrellas aren't allowed to be up indoors. Uh, <laughs> That's like... I don't think you walk into a pub and they're like, Oh, not allowed! Mm, well, I'm taking it. You gave it to me. Well, it's part of my outfit I'm dressing now. you. In my head, a rule is you can't have umbrellas up inside. So this is for walking along the street. Which you is fine. Then once when we get in the pub... We are inside! I'm not even going to the pub. Then you go to the pub, you put your umbrella down... Uh-huh. You take your hat off, which would which would get rid of anyway, and then you look fine. I don't think it looks that bad. Maybe the white tights don't really go. Okay, we've come back to some okay. clarification because actually it was just my my wife chooses my outfit. <laughs> it's up to Jessica to style it how Jessica wears her outfits. So she's now still wearing the same shirt, same dress, just added a belt, which I did to be fair say, does it need a belt? Yes. You can dress me if you like. My clothes all go together because they're just jeans on t-shirts. Yeah, if you made that video. I won't find it very enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it is Wednesday morning and Rupert is still ill <laughs> and thus still here at home with us. No, thank you. Hello, Rupert. It's okay, he's washing his hands in the background. We were originally going to be having a date day morning, Claudia and I, going out together, having some brunch, but no, because Rupert's here. So instead, we are going to the supermarket, because that's the kind of fun thing that we're going to do. Let's choose this exciting outfit. Okay. Oh, this one. This is Rupert's choice for my clothing today. Oh my gosh. To wear to the supermarket. To go to the supermarket? Do you put this one back? Keep on. <laughs> I, I don't know. Keep on. Okay, on, Mama. All oh, right, right. That one. This here or this one? The blue. Oh, this one here. This is Rupert's pick for me today. Yeah, like Raya and um, whatever it's called. Raya and the Last Dragon. So anyway, this has end up being basically like a fancy dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's currently in the in the tops. Rupert, go have a look. Choose a top. Yeah, I Rupert, I could wear. Wear a top that goes maybe under this. That one. What is Oh! Woo! Well done! Wow! Pinged it back and everything. Pinged it back. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so this is this is the look that we are going for today, Claudia. Ooh. Is this your choice? Well no, he was like speaking through me, you know. Should we give her like a, a jacket? No. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, you decided to just go off I don't think I can wear a jacket, obviously. That one, that one. Yeah, that white one. Gonna have another belt, apparently. Okay. Um, Rupert's decided oh, to uh, get out multiple right. belts. Three belts. And to be fair, they're all quite colour coordinated. The pink I just came off and went, sparkly! Yeah, gotta have the sparkles. Okay, Rupert, I think four belts might be enough. It's one of his new favourite words. Rupert. Enough. 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 Good, good. Enough. Like that one, Mama. Oh, thank you. A ginger man brooch, everybody needs that. Okay, here we are in my final outfit. I think it's, quite, I think it's worked out actually quite well. As yeah. chosen. Rupert even chose my shoes. It was quite impressive. He pulled... Hey, where are the four belts he chose? <laughs> Do I, sorry, is it all four of them? Yeah, I had to at least wear like... Well, you were, I'm wearing oh, one of them. I didn't realise I had to wear all three. Yeah, it should be a look. Or uh, four, actually, uh, wasn't it? Uh, Where's the sparkly belt, Rupert? My belt is the There is no sparkly belt on, indeed. <laughs> yeah, and the gingerbread man, you're right. <laughs> Careful with that shirt. <laughs> Don't knock the... Ah! Rupert. Mama, right? 
Mama wear it. Okay. I think it's actually a dog collar accessory <laughs> for Chris, <laughs> that somehow landed yes. in Jessica's belt accessory drawer. You look like you work at a theme park. So Paige thinks that this outfit uh, doesn't doesn't quite go. Not, She's not well. super keen on the green top. You didn't think that Rupa did that well. I, yeah, the green and... Sorry, Rupa. She's not feeling it. I think it's okay. I think that kind of teal and that kind of pink do actually go together. I was saying it's such an out there dress that I don't think people would think like, whoa, that top doesn't go with that dress because it's such like a, whoa, that dress. We are having a cheeky yeah, Nando's because Rupa wanted it. <laughs> Rupert is ill and requested chips and dips. Yeah. This is this is chips and dips. And I started putting sriracha sauce <laughs> yeah. on I mean, my um, egg fried rice. Yeah, and I anyway, and then he wants it as well. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Yeah, he likes sriracha. Don't yeah. eat that. Don't eat that. <laughs> she said, don't eat that. <laughs> It is Thursday. Today we have, let's open to do this to find out. Okay, Claudia, today is a writing day and an editing day. Not going out to anything spectacularly exciting. Dress me. I mean, personally. I like that you opened my fancy dresses. I know. First, well, though. I just don't know with Jessica. Personally, I would wear a big hoodie. Okay. And some tracksuit bottoms if I was just sitting at home writing. I don't think that's really your style. I <laughs> I'd say this would be comfortable for me, but for Jessica, she'll feel so deeply uncomfortable in her soul that I think it would affect your writing. I think it would. You do wear this jumper sometimes. That is actually a really warm jumper. I might consider. About your YouTube one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah. I forgot I had this one. <laughs> Claudia, this, this is Claudia's, Claudia's section this. right here. This is just the, the back bit of beyond where she shoves stuff and forgets she has it. I was given, very generously by my wife, oh my God. this end wardrobe oh God. at Lick. long last. You've got it used to just have this <laughs> tiny skinny bit. No, you've got a whole section. No, it's a whole section. Gosh, such a moaner. So I think this one. Um, and petticoat. And matching belts. Oh, very nice. Or should I put clothes on, then you decide. I'm not made for hoodies. I don't know how to do them. Oh, oh it's not a lot of air in here. This is my hoodie that YouTube made me. Very nice. All right, accessories. Okay. We're going with this scarf. I like it because it says... It will in a minute. It says Liberty. And I feel like the colors go with the dress that you have underneath and it will tie a bit of vintage flair back into it. Are you on... <laughs> yeah. I'm a crazy riveter, not like a peasant. Do you? <laughs> I mean, you style it, I'm just choosing. Uh -huh. It's not my wife styles me, it's my wife choosing my clothes. You've still, you still got to like style it out, darling. Finishing touch is this little brooch. Oh, okay, there we go. A white one. What do we think? Helps? Helps or hinders? Yeah, it does, definitely yeah. looks a bit more like you. No, I think the, the pale, pale pink one. The palest? Yeah. Okay. It's Friday, well, but um, unclear as to whether I'll get dressed today. Apparently I have terrible migraine, probably brought some by. A Botox. You're lying on your whale Please pillow. I bought this for Jessica. My whale pillow. It actually helps. It's meant to help like stretch your like neck out, I think, and take the pressure off, isn't it? It's quite a stunning I mean, thing, this. I'm not really sure how it works, but it works. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Things that help a migraine. <laughs> Just accept and be grateful. That's mm. all we can say. Mm. We'll see whether there's any getting dressed today. Two hours later. Finally getting around to eating some breakfast. Still feeling rubbish. <laughs> Migraines are so fun. I feel like I could see see, feel, I can feel every nerve in my face. 
I could feel the knives in my teeth. We were meant to go to the zoo with Jamie and Shava. It's Jamie and Shava. I love them. I would like to go to the zoo with them. Oh. Yeah, in there. That's it. It's a bit full. Mummy needs to do some more laundry. Thank you. Good helping. I like her outfit today. Do you like to model for me? That Hello. Was my modeling. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Rupert. Oh, that's lovely that you're getting all the hangers out, but you don't need that many. Okay. Got you a present. Oh, hard to look a bit respectful here. It's fine, you've got a migraine, you're having a bed day. I'm very much having a bed day. Completely understandable. Very excited by this gift. Oh! This is very fancy. It's a nice notebook. It is a nice notebook. Oh, very nice. With no lines, so you don't feel pressured to write lots and lots of lines. <laughs> But, or you could draw see. pictures, or you could do a bullet journal, or you could just write all your ideas for your uh, for your book you're working on. Lovely, modelled. You could be like a hand model, my darling. <laughs> Maybe not with those nails. Oh my god, yeah. don't look at my nails. They need to be redone. I oh, know. But yeah. It's a bird. Is it? Good morning, it is Sunday and I am barely human, but more human than yesterday when we didn't film. So, uh, today's plan is just that we are, it's raining. That's not today's plan. We did not plan the rain, quite clearly. It's just England, and it'd be like that. But today it is raining. It's probably gonna make my hair go very straight in a minute. We're gonna to go to see Grandad, which makes me very excited. He asks a lot to go to see Claude's dad. Um, Jimmy makes all of his toys go to Grandad's house. That's how we know he wants to go to visit him. Uh, so I need something kind of casual, kind of comfy, please. Okay. Probably not a pink, off again. <laughs> All right, well, I luckily, mean, that was fun though. Luckily Rupert's leaving, so. Oh! Wear this. Okay, but I did wear, I did wear this already. Have you? I wore this on Tuesday. Well, I probably wore this like yesterday. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't smell. You know, the... Actually, to be fair, Jessica's things do often smell. <laughs> I always say, like, why does everything get put out on this clothes horse? Like, we have a massive wardrobe, but every day, this this is actually broken in several places from the weight of the stuff that gets put on it every day. And Jessica says it's because if it's been worn once, it can't go back in the cupboard. But then she wears something else from the cupboard and puts it on the clothes horse. Yeah, I think And then wears makes... something else from the cupboard and puts it on the clothes horse, to the point that she can't remember or even know what's at the bottom of that clothes horse. Until there's an event where she's like, I really need that red dress. But wait, it's at the bottom of the clothes horse and it's not entirely clean. I think it makes perfect sense, okay, because you shouldn't put clothes back into the wardrobes if they've been partially worn because they're not going to be 100% clean. I disagree. I just hate having my clothes out in my space. So like, I always just put my worn clothes, I like check them before I put them away. I'm like, has it got a stain on it? Does it smell? How many days have I worn this in a row? If it was like, I've only worn this for one day, it doesn't smell, I didn't get sweaty, I didn't have any like baby snot on it and it didn't get stained, I put it back in the cupboard. Because then what does it matter if I wear it tomorrow or in like two weeks time? I've never found that in my 35 years of life through my system that it starts smelling. So okay. I think wear this one, but only for one more day. There we go, that's comfy. Oh, a hairband. Okay. But Jessica's saying no, it has to be this. No, one. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I make no choices. Probably. This does look a bit bleak altogether, I, doesn't it? I, yeah, yeah. I think this brings it a bit more joy. A certain joy, yes. What do you do about headbands and washing? Do you wash these? Because, like, we wash our hair. We should probably wash them. I answer in the comments, I guess. I shall put this on.
we <laughs> came to uh, where we to visit Grandad at Rupert's request because he was saying he's got all the Grandad's Grandad's house, Grandad's house, Grandad's house. So, toys. Grandad's house, indeed. So, um, we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a bit windy and cold, isn't it? We went to the playground after our roast chicken and it was a little bit windy, so we're going back to Grandad's house now. This bit is the shop. That bit's the storage cupboard for extra things. So far, all he sells is eggs. And uh, he's gone into the cupboard now, hasn't he? Into the actual cupboard, which he's not meant to go into, which Jessica's trying to get him away from. So we've put up the um, what we call the den, but it's actually um, a possum pay a possum blah, 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 possum uh, play couch, which is great. It's like a modular play couch. I just cannot talk today. I'm very sleep deprived. Rupert's going for a a sleep sort of drama thing at the moment. We're all going through it. And, um, oh, I just realised it's for like a mirror and a mirror. Hi. So, yeah, we're in Rupert's room. And, um, and yeah, we're just trying to basically get him to burn off all his excess energy right now with some like rough and tumble play. And then we do bath and then we do like quiet story time and then we do some heavy breathing and then we leave. It's like a whole process. He's a very sensitive, overwired kind of busy busy brain child which is not surprising because jessica and i are both like that too help me jess help me tilly yeah he's exhausting and there we have it a full week of outfits as chosen by my wife kind of yeah i know so we did miss saturday because of the migraine and technically one of those outfits was chosen by rupert but, but in all fairness, she did choose a second look on Tuesday because I went out in the evening. Um, and the Rupert one was excellent and I did enjoy my supermarket trip. What did you think? Which was your favorite outfit from the whole week? Do let me know. Also, if you would like to see us switch looks, we do have a video where we do that. Uh, you can click this link. If you would like us to make an updated version, of that video, do let me know. I think that could be rather fun. Quite intrigued to see what that looks like. A reminder that some of the items that you've seen in this video are listed in the description down below. If you've really enjoyed watching Claudia and I just be us, uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Jessie and Claude or on our separate Instagram accounts, which are Jessica Out of the Closet and at CloudFoss. That one is admittedly harder to find. And of course, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel because I do know that quite a few people watch multiple videos and do not subscribe. <gasps> Thank you so much for watching and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. And don't forget now that there is still a 30% sale on at my merch store and when everything's gone, it's gone because there is something else coming. See you next time. <laughs>